Well, good morning, everyone. Larry back with you again. What a beautiful morning, Labor Day morning it is here in North Alabama. Temperature is somewhere in the high 60s right now. I've already been down and trimmed a, a few Christmas trees while it was kind of cooler. And the project for today, I have a trail that goes down to the lower part of our place here, and there is a tree that has fallen, and I'd like to, uh, to salvage it if I possibly can. I may use it for something uh, down the road in the future. So uh, I plan on starting by, there's some overhanging limbs and brush that have uh, kind of grown out over the trail. I plan on trying to clean some of those back and to also uh, take, the, uh, take Fergus down and see if I can grade the trail out a little bit. It's a uh, main pathway for the water coming off the hill and it has really washed. So I think I'll take Fergus down sometime today and maybe see if we can uh, kind of groom the trail up just a little bit. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for tuning in to Tower Place Christmas Tree Farm for this project on a beautiful Labor Day morning. You probably noticed as I was coming down through here these limbs like this and we got some on the ground they're just in the way to get down through here with the gator and uh, Fergus and also little John little John's been down here a time or two I'm waiting to uh, do very much work with little John down in this area until I get the uh, spacers put on the rear tires the rear wheels of Little John. And we're doing that to give it a little more stability. We just have to be extra careful. I found this to be a little interesting. This, um, this large hole here, and I'm assuming maybe originally a groundhog hole or something, but it appears to be a hole that water is flowing through because, as you can see here, it comes out here, and there's a large area of wash then coming down through here and going on down this way. I live the kind of life that most men only dream of. I make my living writing songs and singing them. I'm 31 years old and I ain't got no place to go when it's over So I'll hide my age and take the stage and try to kick the footlights out again I throw my own guitar Cross the stage and then my bass man takes the ball And the crowd goes nearly wild To see my 
my guitar nearly fall After 20 years of picking We're still alive and kicking down some I wanted to show you this section of Fergus This is the uh, front left hand side axle assembly and of course the tire and you can see the uh, tie rod and then the axle the actual the actual axle itself because I want to share a story with you that comes back to me today from uh, my childhood I guess it was uh, probably late summer early fall of the year one year and uh, we had gone down at, down at our place where I was raised close to uh, Detroit, Alabama. We had a farm and the farm consisted of bottom land and hillside with timber. And on the hillside is where dad usually cut the firewood from. Well, we cut pines off of it and he cut some firewood off of it too. But this one particular day we had taken the he had a, I guess it was about a 1956 uh, Ford 850 tractor. And uh, he had hooked the wagon to it and we'd gone up on the hillside to cut some firewood. We got down to the place where we were cutting the tree down. And as usual, we just, uh, you know, stop the tractor and get everything out, get ready to start cutting. And I think, in fact, he had already started um, working on the saw and getting ready to cut the tree. And about that time we heard something, kind of some noises popping and a little crackling and what have you. And we looked around and obviously his tractor had jumped out of gear and it was headed, it was heading off the side of the hill. Of course there was, you know, there was nothing we could do. Uh, we couldn't catch it. Fortunately, a uh, pretty good sized tree, I'm going to say it was probably about a foot in diameter, maybe even larger, caught it <laughs> at that point on the tractor that I showed you on Fergus a few minutes ago. Fortunately, it did not center the track. The tree, the tractor, didn't center the tree. Uh, fortunately, that could have certainly, uh, from the speed it was already going, that could have caused a lot of damage. But it it bent the uh, axle. The tire was back up underneath the tractor when it got stopped. That's how much it had, it had bent the axle. I don't even remember how we got that tractor off the hillside. I think uh, he managed, we had another tractor at the time. It was a smaller tractor. And I think he managed to take the smaller tractor and uh, somehow maneuver the other tractor up the hill and back to the house. And Dad took um, in his forge, he put that uh, front axle in the forge and heated it up and he would, he would bang on it and beat on it. I don't think he was able to do what he wanted to do, so he took it to a shop and, and they heated it some more and actually bent it back into place and straightened the tie rod that uh, goes to the tire. And fortunately was able to uh, get that tractor back in pretty good shape. You could see from that point on you could see the evidence of the damage that was done but uh, he was able to uh, get the tractor up and get it going again. But I will never forget that experience, quite an experience from my childhood. Tonight we'll kick the footlights out and walk away Found curtain call Tonight we'll kick the footlights out again and Try to hide the mood I'm really in Put on my old Instamatic grin Tonight we'll kick Lights out
them the kind of life that most men only dream of. I make my living writing songs and singing them. I have decided not to uh, cut any more today and try to get it to the house. It's hours already getting a little late on Labor Day and I want to be able to enjoy the rest of this Labor Day weekend. After cutting out a section way up here, I pretty much determined that there's still some solid wood in this tree. Um, I'd like to I'd like to cut some more, but it, as you can see, it is off the ground right now, and I don't really have things prepared at the house to be able to get it off the ground up there, and I don't want to cut it up and leave it on the ground down here. So I think we'll stop this uh, project today, and maybe we'll have a part two to this project at a later time. Today, though, I think we're going to uh, quit. I pretty much got the uh, little trail groomed back up enough that can ride around just a little bit and enjoy it. I'll take the gator up, take the saw back up, gather everything else that I've got down here up and get back to the house. And Thank you for watching the video this morning. Just a little brief project here to groom the trail just a little bit, check out this piece of uh, fallen tree and see what the condition of it is. If you would, be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, 
and then please share it. Thank you so much for watching Terra Place Christmas Tree Farm. Have a great day. Bye-bye.